So, Steve, tell me about Digital Live um, for our viewers. Yeah. What's the purpose of Digital Live and who, who's it for? What are they going to get out of the event? Well, there's two, the two, there's two things about Digital Live. So the first um, thing to know is it's a 12-week program that kicks off uh, with a full day at one of the universities, either in Sydney, Brisbane, or Melbourne, is aimed at real estate professionals, whether or not they're in marketing, selling, or property management, uh, who want to improve their knowledge of how to use digital better, how to use social media better. So what I do is I, I pull in um, nine or 10 of the very, very best experts um, in the digital space, obviously you're one of them, Mel, and the, the, the whole idea is to take uh, these real estate professionals on a 12-week program that will ensure that if they listen and they, they take action, they will be so much more knowledgeable when it comes to digital after the program. So uh, we call it Digital Live. It's the third year we've run it. We get some amazing uh, feedback from, from participants. Um, the, the profits that we make from Digital Live go towards the, the charity Hands Across the Water, which is obviously the charity that we're cycling across Thailand for. Um, but the most important thing for real estate agents is if you're inquisitive, if you're, in, if you're curious about digital, if you want to learn more, then come to Digital Live. It's a great investment. And as a coach, and like the other coach, we're giving our time yep. um, for free yes. for this, for, to help the charity. And we're, but we're really kind of um, excited about giving practical tips that people can take away and use in their business the next day. So yeah, yeah and we're, we're all covering lots of different topics and angles on things like that. Absolutely, so the way that the program works is people pick and choose the, 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 the topics they wanna go and listen to. So, so there'll be some during the day that we have uh, in Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane there'll be some presentations that go across everyone and um, we're talking that we, we, we limit the number so the maximum number we'll have in each place is about 80 and the reason for that is we want it to be a very personalized experience yeah but outside of those three presentations that go across the whole board uh, we have lots of breakout sessions so someone might want to go and spend 50 minutes with an Instagram expert somebody might want to spend 50 minutes um, learning more about how to maximize the Google algorithm somebody might want to spend some time on how to deal with ratings and reviews but the great thing about the whole digital live program is is the classroom sessions you miss we record and so you get all of that uh, that you can watch in your own time so uh, that kicks off in May and look I think the only other thing I'd say is the reason we hold the full day uh, before we go into the online learning that lasts for another 12 weeks the reason we have it at a university is we want to make sure that the attendees understand this is not an ARIC where you sit and you're spoken to this is a roll your sleeves up we're going to get stuck into this and we're going to do some practical stuff and when you finish at four o'clock you'll be exhausted but the most important thing is your digital knowledge your digital footprint would have gone from here to hear. Mm -hmm. And then there's gonna, they're going to you know, have forums where they can share and, and assist each other peer-to-peer -peer through groups and things like that as well as, as well as have the coaches on hand to support them. Absolutely. So yeah, by the end of the 12 weeks we should have them all like ship shape and polished and you know, like you said, stepped up in their digital know-how. That's the plan. About the charity, so you've done an amazing job in three years. How much have you raised to date and what's your next goal? Oh, so by Easter, when we finished the ride in uh, February, March, we'd have done about a million. And, uh, and the million dollars goes towards building digital and technology classrooms in orphanages that are run by the Australian Sydney-based charity Hands Across the Water. So. Um, the money doesn't go towards food or, or shelter, that's already taken care of. But what these kids are lacking is they're lacking in the opportunity to learn how technology works, learn how Google operates. And therefore, when they get to an age of 16, they really struggle to get a job. Uh, because they, they they have no skills, and yeah. so what the bike ride does, and what the digital live uh, education program does, is it makes money to help with the digital education of, of these kids. That's great that it's aligned with you know what we're learning through the program or teaching, in my case, yeah. and and then the children that benefit from this. Um, actually get digital skills as well. So everybody's getting digital skills um, it's around. The, it's the future, Mel. 